Hello, welcome to Think Tricks. Today you're gonna learn how to do zombie disintegration. So here is my scene. Uh, you can see everything is all set up and the FX, even FX is all set up. So I'm not gonna do from scratch. I'm just uh, I'm just gonna go through what all are the settings and etc uh, etc. Et Cause I, I don't think uh, starting from scratch is a good idea for this one because we are handling pop grain. So pop grain is, uh, you guys know that it is very slow. So in order to get a good result, like it's a pain. So the all those setup already I have I'll explain from uh, from the beginning, okay. So I have to see in here uh, all the assets are from MegaScan uh, except the grass. So grass I created in in uh, Houdini. Uh, you can see here I have a grass file here. So you can see the grass are like not not completely filled. That's because I have I have a camera movement which is going from here to here. So and it is going pretty low the angle is little low so only where the camera is facing that's the only where i painted grass otherwise it doesn't make sense right like why would we need um, you know grass uh, an object over here where we can't see all the assets are from megascan you can see here the scene file you can see all our fbx file i'll do the scene uh, walkthrough uh, after explaining the fx Okay, so the character is from Mixamo. Mixamo is a Adobe free software. Uh, it's online software, not offline. Online, you can get it uh, from Google. Okay, so here is my character. This one, this one is the guy. So you choose your character. So you have the character option here. You choose the character, and then uh, you have the animation here. So I, I've used Crawl one. So you can choose any any of the one it's gonna load here so if you if you guys know how to export it then check this part uh, so all you have to do is character find the character find the animation and, and click download uh, and get the frame rate correct uh, so Houdini as a default it is 24 so 24 and download it uh, so so you're gonna get the file and the way you way the way you can uh, import is one method is this go file import and file uh, fill in box if I'm using laptop so my half of this part is above the screen so like this is one of the tips that I found it took me a lot of time but it's a silly um, fix so all you can do is press alt and space so that you get this uh, tab and you go move by using the you know down arrow up arrow down arrow and press enter to move and then you started moving with your uh, keyboard up and down okay so up and down so you can get like something like this press enter then you get this okay so just a uh, uh, I don't know like it's a, it's a bug or what but that's the easy fix and you can go get your file and uh, uh, import it Okay, that's it. Uh, so I have my file imported already. So here's my scene, FPX. Uh, you have a lot of, uh, you know, all the, all the bones. You can see it's a bone kind of um, icon. So it's all the bones, uh, and somewhere around on the top, yeah, you can see all your character and the material, right? So we we just kept it there, like that. Uh, so we have the FPX, but we will start from, you know, like we will import, import this thing in work network. Okay. So I go to the, um, the work network. So in here, um, I used, so I will hide everything so that it works faster. So yeah. So in here I brought this character. Okay. So here is the character. If you ever come across this grayed out. That's because uh, you are using Mixamo. So all you have to do is go to auto take. So then everything works. So I know it is kind of brownish, but but it works. Okay, it's an, another take. So take is a different thing. So I don't want to explain here. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is how you can import it like FBX and you have to put the star because if you put the FBX, it tried to bring the, uh, I can show you. 
fpx it doesn't bring anything because it's gonna see the entire it's gonna look for the entire uh sub network okay but we want to say that uh you know take everything so take everything so then you can get this guy okay or the other way of importing fpx is the same way you can use it uh, you can put an agent and in the agent you have the option called fbx so just get your fbx press ok so here is the uh, fbx but you can see it, it is in the t post so if you want to get the clip then go here and uh, get the mixama.com so you will have it okay so two options it's up to you which way you like right so and then i transformed it because it is coming from um mixamo adobe so adobe works uh, in centimeter uh, hudni is a meter so whatever you know if this could be actually this could be some uh, in a human centimeter well I, I don't know what it's like once 180 centimeter or something uh it's just an example okay so mixamo is coming from 180 centimeter but houdini is reading it as 180 meter okay so unit is different so that's why it was so big so uh, then i tried to you know scale it down uh by 0 0.01 so so now it is back to the same like centimeter to meter size right okay and then i blasted you can see all this colorful thing that is coming from the rig okay so the bone and rig so i deleted all of this by going to the shop material so it's like you go you go press 9 or click here and then go to the shop shop material path and find that um you know in case in here yeah you go find this guy okay and delete it so that that's with that way you can delete all the bonds related to it okay so i have already then the the workflow is basically you have to bring a grain source okay you have to bring a grain source to make th this as a sand so grain source is nothing but it's a particles uh, it's a point only but if you middle mouse click it you can see it has a p scale with m okay so which means um means if you, if you bring a sprite uh, so sprite is nothing but it's just a visualizing uh, and making things you know uh, you can see how the, the size of the point uh, based on the p scale okay so i like to take the visualizing as a you know spear so which you can get it uh dollar hfs everybody has this dollar hfs like it is not my thing it's a houdini inbuilt textures okay so you go anything you can take spear mat any mat any mat basically it's a picture so i take the mat so that i can see it uh if it doesn't show you then you just have to refresh it by clicking here and clicking back so you get the so yeah so here is the p scale so it's like as you increase it or as you decrease it you can see uh, that's too much that's too low i guess even that is too low so i will keep seven so you can see so, and it is faster and it is like it doesn't take much of space uh, when you are doing with copy stamp method then it's gonna it's gonna take a little more time and this one is you can see this is a pixel it's not a it's not a 3d object it is just a picture you can see here it's a picture there's a pixelate happening here so that's why it's very fast and uh, don't use this for simulation it's like it does, it's just a short thing so what you what i want to explain is um so if if i keep uh point numbers so you see all the point number okay so and as you play it you can see the point number changes in each um each frame so that's because this guy is moving that's because this guy is you know right it is this guy is moving it has an animation on it okay so as the animation happens the point in the 3d space also change isn't it it is not a good idea uh, for doing something uh, you know like if you have an animation and you have a point here and the points are points are moving so that is bad so your point has to stay inside the inside the object 
okay inside your geometry so in this case it is not it is moving so a 48 in the head it is 50 coming so it's like keep changing so then it's uh, it's hard for the dynamic uh, you know dop network or simulation to identify okay so so that way you, you have this option called uh, there's a node called basically there's a node called point deform in here okay point deform so point deform basically what it do is so i'm going to show you what's going to do you bring a point deform and point deform works in a way that uh, it need it need an animated and a static and a static so in here you can see this is a deformed point and rest point and mesh point so uh, it is it not only used for only points it can also use for you know polygons with points right so basically geometry also you can deform it all right so like i said animated static static okay so it's just a, you know, easy to understand so animated um so we want to change the point isn't it so if it is change if you want to change the only point then uh, this two has to be you know uh, polygon points or mesh points okay so we know that this has to be mesh mesh with the animation and next one is, we need is sta rest point or static i would say rest and the rest the mesh which we wanted to change so i hope you can see this i'll delete the sprite that's for just visualizing and in the grain so grain source is the one we want to change because it is uh, as it moves it is uh, the point number is also changes this that's the problem we have to fix it so we bring a time scale a time shift you delete it you delete it so that you can keep only one frame so i'm saying what i'm saying is uh, the animation has to be only one frame okay so now you'll be wondering why well, like, this is the one we need to deform right so that's exactly this this desk like it required it actually required the mesh to deform and the mesh has to be uh, you know not animated okay so that's why i keep there and you can plug so now i have the you see you see this is the geometry animated geo so which is this one this is animated geo this is rest geo okay and the point which we need to deform and that has to be also uh, you know a static or rest points so so what it's going to do here is uh, it, it takes the animation from here okay and uh, we have the rest static with no movements here and then that's going to paste to the points right so that's what happens here so i'm going to plug that okay and if i press enter now you can see it doesn't move yeah you see the points are stable onto the geometry okay so that's what point deform do okay so this is what we want so that the points are uh same throughout the animation okay so that's what is happening here so you can see don't don't get scared of like look, seeing at this it's basically what's happening here is see i have a point deform here so basically um i'll just seg segment it okay so this side is for this side is for the geo okay which the geo has to have a disintegration right um like it slowly it has to dissolve or disintegrate this is where the this part is for sand the disintegration of sand happening here i then put a vdb okay so why vdb it just to make it uh you know simple it's like you see the remesh right now if you middle mouse click it, it is 600 kb and in here it is 5 MB so that's what I did so if you mirror mouse click it's just 600 KB and then I grain sourced it so it is not necessary okay but it, it is it will help you to uh, do the simulation little faster little faster okay just you know a 0.5 different or something if you have a high poly mesh then this would do a big help okay so it's the same thing I then I did grain source and you can see here the value right so in the port this one i put the value 001 so, uh, and the remesh i've used this value and the grain source 
uh, this is you can see it is green because it is uh, linked with the pop grain in inside inside the simulation so you can see x8 all right so that's because this is my final value uh, which i liked so much okay and then i put just just for just to show you uh, what's happening i put an into eight so which means now it is like two and it's actually it's like zero zero three instead of putting the value 0 0.02 uh, i multiplied it that's because i might forget this values like e i either i have to write it down in a piece of paper the value so i'm i'm lazy for that like why would we need to do that because you know we can multiply it and once i'm once i'm final so it's like i can delete this part uh this part then it's going to stay this one all right so just a easy way of so this is my final value final value will be this okay i will um, I will, while uh, before before go to render i will delete this right so then i colored it so reason why i colored it uh, as a default the grain source color will be a zero i mean one 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 okay as that's a default so i have to say that it has to be black so why black so that i can animate it so that i can animate uh, my disintegration like how i want my animation to happen so that part is this one so i have a spear okay and you can see here my animation so i this all everything is a handmade animation first of all you can see the keyframes keyframe how i want and i use another keyframe okay for both so two has an animation uh, one is little big so that's why you speak uh, you can use any box or spear or a torus anything you can use it just all you need is an animation uh, going on so you can see here if i press this one you can see the animation taking place like this yeah you see it is over it so i made a little delay for one and little fast one and uh, it's all up to you how you want it to disintegrate so what i what i my plan is like it has to start from here and here and one has to go a little faster than one and in some places uh, the the other you know if it is a and b so in some place when it reaches some here or somewhere i want a to go faster so it's up to you so artistic way of doing uh, you can see here i colored black and i have an animation and inside here okay so it's fairly simple i guess right it's, it's just up to yours you, i said like this or oh, spelling is diff wrong yeah this integration animation this is where the animation happens and inside inside on the input 2 so which is this one you see you see input 2 okay input 2 i colored it red okay and in the previous frame i want to give it so like the use of solver i think you got you all know that right like uh, solver will help you keep the points uh, so i'll just show you here in the transform node uh, i colored the cd okay i transferred the cd and you can see here so if this is uh, nothing but yeah you can see here animation is turning to red as as the as the sphere is moving okay you can see here it's take a little bit of time so i'll click here and see the end yeah you see you see it is moving so as this All right so you can adjust the uh you know fall off from so you can see my spear is here but i have uh i've taken the points little more that's that's you that you can control from the condition the condition you can control the blend width and stuff so if even if you go here it's the same thing it's like this is nothing it just uh, i'll show you so you see here it's nine and in here 0 0.6 here you can see it goes one 
um that's that's actually okay that's actually okay i i don't remember why i kept this but even if this is not there you still have to get it okay so you go here and click so it should it should work okay you don't need to have that wax coding so i have a moving colors like as it goes even the it also go so so you can see the plug so like I said, this has to be points and this has to be geometry. This has to be geometry with animation. Yeah, so you can see that uh, my, so this one is going, you know, straight, straight here and it is this. Okay, so static, I mean, and uh, the geometry with animation. Okay, and this one is going, you know, here. So which is a rest okay or static so the uh, the geometry with static so you can see that okay and then uh this one i plugged in for points which i wanted to change okay so it's like uh it is a static but it's a point okay so which i really want to change and it also has a color in it okay that's that's just that, that's we need that because uh, we're going to delete we're going to delete or we're going to make it static i mean activate and deactivate using the color so that's the only reason we kept this and see the color has an animation so which is this one okay okay so so we have the point with color you know black and red going here so and it is a static okay so what's gonna happen here is it's gonna take the animation from the geometry and uh, it's gonna uh, give it to the to the rest geometry okay and then those animation will those animation will place uh, to the point okay or other words deform the point or deform the mesh so that's why here it's happening right so now you can see so now if i hit play it's gonna take time so i i've already i'll already take a 100 frame of play blast so you can see the numbers are yeah but you can i think you can see two three nine two three nine one and stuff so you can see uh, after the point deform this point number is going to stick to the geometry with the animation so we uh, we have a stable uh, points okay and the color so you can play i can show you in by playing hitting a play so you can see the red is transferring and even the number so you see it is 232386 and still 2386 okay uh, this is the major or important stuff to be uh, made sure uh, in, in for this fx okay so i have that then i created a bond points so let's check it so i created a bond points uh yeah you can see here bond points you can give any name and i said color not so you can see uh if i click here you can see yeah if i click here yeah you see whatever is red don't group it that's what i'm saying here so whatever is red more than zero don't group it Okay, so and add that group name is bond point. So if you come here, you can see it's going to go a little up or if you go here, it's yeah, it has everything because there is no red yet. I think only this part. Uh, yeah, only this part. Okay, so so I think I made a redundant redundant. This group doesn't need it. Okay, so you only need a bond point group. So this one bond points, right? And it's better you keep file cache okay so if you file cache it then everything runs faster so right now this is okay right now this is okay because we have only only 0 0.02 which is very less isn't it so right now this is uh, that's okay but if you are keeping a higher resolution okay higher uh you know so point separation to maybe like only only this thing then you might need to file cache it i think not you might it you have to file cache it uh and bring it from the from here it's like uh you file cache it 
okay and load from the disk so that so that it's no more gonna use the houdini space it's gonna use your disk so i hope you know what is file cache so file cache will uh, basically read from your disk uh, other than reading from the houdini file okay and then you need to create an active group okay an active active group based on cd so active point and uh, the trigger will be cd so it's like whatever is read cd dot r anything will work so dollar dollar cd i mean dollar cr is a h script and uh, at cd dot r is a vec script okay, that's the only difference and attraction weight if you want it right so uh, if attraction weight is nothing but if you come here i haven't reached the here yet i know that but still uh, it's come here you can see clumping and if you put your mouse over here you can see attraction weight as a parameter so you see the parameter is attraction weight so clumping is basically it is it's going to clump or group make a group or you know it is base it is usually used for wet sand okay to make it a grouped sand okay so that's why here i said attraction weight and i did not change anything the value is still zero because that value is gonna trigger in here so it's a fairly yeah, it's a fairly simple uh, it's a noise where white is uh, clumped and black is not clumped Okay, so black gonna fall down and white's gonna be sticked together. So uh, here you can see it doesn't look good. You know there will be small white uh, clumping, small white clumping. Okay, if you put this in a higher resolution, you know, right now it, it doesn't look good. I know that. Okay, and all I did is I put a, a, a turbulent noise and I unclamped it. So fit unclamped. Uh, so that i get white and black not gray and a light black and then i fit it because fit unclamp could go negative value so if i come here uh, since it has a fit it doesn't read it yeah now you can see it is going negative value positive value but we don't need that we want to put we want to keep uh cd zero and one because that's the best uh practice it's like cd it's good to have zero to one not negative or or you know one plus no that's wrong that's wrong like it's gonna it's gonna give you dark colors or bright colors so we don't need that we just need a color okay so yeah so now fit will help you keep it zero and one All right so that's what this and uh, so cd is for visualizing okay you can unplug it if you want uh, but it's a visualizing that we know that white is clumped and black is not clumped so this is the clump guy okay attraction weight so nothing i've done in here i promoted the this parameter over here um so that i don't have to go inside and outside right and then a rest note rest note is good that if you want to play with color later after your simulation okay so it's just a it's like a backup plan okay so if in case uh, you waste i mean if in case it's like you uh, you spend you know one day not it won't be one day but five hours for getting your getting your simulation done and then suddenly you you thought of like oh i need to change the color or you need to change something then dress position will help you out 